Sixteenth Day of Waiting on God by Andrew Murray. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Christopher Smith. Waiting on God for His Light in the Heart. I wait for the Lord. My soul doth wait, and in His word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord. More than they that watch for the morning, more than they that watch for the morning. Psalm 130, verses 5 and 6. With what intense longing the morning light is often waited for. By the mariners in a shipwrecked vessel, by a benighted traveller in a dangerous country, by an army that finds itself surrounded by an enemy. The morning light will show what hope of escape there may be. The morning may bring life and liberty. And so the saints of God in darkness have longed for the light of his countenance more than watchmen for the morning. They have said, More than watchmen for the morning, my soul waiteth for the Lord. Can we say that too? Our waiting on God can have no higher object than simply having his light shine on us and in us and through us all the day. God is light. God is a sun. Paul says, God hath shined in our hearts to give the light. What light? The light of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Just as the sun shines its beautiful life-giving light on and into our earth, so God shines into our hearts the light of his glory, of his love, in Christ his Son. Our heart is meant to have that light filling and gladdening it all the day. It can have it because God is our Son, and it is written, Thy Son shall no more go down for ever. God's love shines on us without ceasing. But can we indeed enjoy it all the day? We can. And how can we? Let nature give us the answer. Those beautiful trees and flowers with all this green grass, what do they do to keep the sun shining on them? They do nothing. They simply bask in the sunshine when it comes. The sun is millions of miles away, but over all that distance it comes, its own light and joy, and the tiniest flower that lifts its little head upwards is met by the same exuberance of light and blessing as flood the widest landscape. We have not to care for the light we need for our day's work. The sun cares and provides and shines the light around us all the day. We simply count upon it and receive it and enjoy it. The only difference between nature and grace is this, that what the trees and the flowers do unconsciously as they drink in the blessing of the light is to be with us a voluntary and a loving acceptance. Faith Simple faith in God's word and love is to be the opening of the eyes, the opening of the heart, to receive and enjoy the unspeakable glory of his grace. And just as the trees, day by day and month by month, stand and grow into beauty and fruitfulness, just welcoming whatever sunshine the sun may give, so it is the very highest exercise of our Christian life just to abide in the light of God and let it and let him fill us with the life and the brightness it brings. And if you ask, but can it really be that just as naturally and heartily as I recognize and rejoice in the beauty of a bright sunny morning, I can rejoice in God's light all the day? It can indeed. From my breakfast table I look out on a beautiful valley with trees and vineyards and mountains. In our spring and autumn months the light in the morning is quite exquisite, and almost involuntarily we say, how beautiful! And the question comes, is it only the light of the sun that is to bring such continual beauty and joy? And is there no provision for the light of God being just as much an unceasing source of joy and gladness? There is indeed, if the soul will but be still and wait on him, only let God shine. Dear soul, learn to wait on the Lord more than watches for the morning. All within you may be very dark. Is that not the very best reason for waiting for the light of God? 
the first beginnings of light may be just enough to discover the darkness and painfully to humble you on account of sin can you not trust the light to expel the darkness do believe it will just bow even now in stillness before god and wait on him to shine into you say in humble faith god is light infinitely brighter and more beautiful than that of the sun god is light the father the eternal inaccessible and incomprehensible light the sun the light concentrated and embodied and manifested the spirit the light entering and dwelling and shining in our hearts god is light and is here shining on my heart i have been so occupied with the rash lights of my thoughts and efforts i have never opened the shutters to let his light in unbelief has kept it out i bow in faith god light is shining into my heart the god of whom paul wrote god hath shined into our heart is my god what would i think of a sun that could not shine what shall i think of a god that does not shine no god shines god is light i will take time and just be still and rest in the light of god my eyes are feeble and the windows are not clean but i will wait on the lord the light does shine the light will shine in me and make me full of light and i shall learn to walk all the day in the light and joy of god my soul waiteth on the lord more than the watcher for the morning my soul wait thou only upon god end of sixteenth day